In this video, I'm going to go over the initial setup process of the Epson ET2850. We're going to set this up from scratch, print a page out, and see how it looks. At the end of this video, hopefully it will be able to help you out in deciding whether this might be the right printer for you. Once you have everything unpacked, you should have a power cord, instruction manual, and five bottles of ink. Now what we need to do is remove all of the protective material from the printer. Do not touch this flat white cable or any of those ink tubes with your fingers. Next thing we need to do, plug in the AC cord to the back left side of the printer and plug it into a household AC outlet. Now choose the way you want to set up your printer. Through your laptop? or through a mobile device. Download the Epson Smart Panel app, but do not launch it. Now while the app is downloading, you can go ahead and push the power button on the printer. We're just not ready to connect the printer to your device yet. If you need to agree to the terms on the app, go ahead and accept, and we'll follow the app with setting up this printer. So let's follow along the instructions in the app and set up a new product. And you should see the Epson ET2850 show up on your shirts, Go ahead and click that. And once you've found your printer, it's going to tell you to get ready for your ink initialization. And now the app is sending information to the printer while we initialize ink setup. One thing for sure, make sure you do not bump your power cord and this does not get unplugged accidentally. Give you directions, it also shows you pictures. So we're going to lift up that scanner box, lift it up all the way until it clicks in place. In this umper tank lid right here, and we're going to start by filling the black. And lift the black lever up and there's your bottle of ink and you're going to unscrew this cap. There's really no need to push down, you just want to line it up and it will automatically start flowing. To fill the black tank it's going to take about 75 seconds and don't worry about overfilling, it will automatically stop. When it stops flowing lift the ink bottle straight up, close the cap, Put the cap back on the ink bottle. There might just be a little bit of ink left in there, but not much. We'll go ahead and do yellow next. If you look at the bottle, you'll see how the slots are on this side only. That's how it lines up with the slots in the top of the fill. Once again, don't squeeze the bottles. Let gravity do its work. make absolutely certain you are putting the right ink into the right slot because they can get crossed over if you don't. Now once all the tanks are filled go ahead and close the tank lid and then if you're using your mobile device go ahead and click yes that all the ink tanks are filled. And then go ahead and close the scanner lid. Go ahead and start ink initialization. Now this process is going to take about 10 minutes. Now while it's going through its initialization process, you can go ahead and click continue and connect to your Wi-Fi. Now just continue on while your printer connects to your Wi-Fi. Now after your printer and Wi-Fi device is all connected, you're going to have a countdown timer until the next step. And after the initialization is complete, go ahead and click next. You want to see the control panel a little easier? Simply lift up, and now that the initialization is complete, you're going to go ahead and click OK, which is right here. And now you're going to have some questions about adjusting print quality. With most new printers, you're going to have to print a page and align the print head. So go ahead and do that next. Now once you do have paper loaded and you're printing your test pages, you want to make sure this rear flap stays up. Do not push it back down in the closed position. Now you're going to pick from number 1 all the way to 7, the boxes with the least amount of lines. So we got number 1, box number 2 has the least amount of lines, 
and then just work your way all the way down and enter that in to the screen. Now once you're done doing your alignment pages, you'll have a screen come up that looks like this. And now if you're going to use the new printer on a laptop, you can go ahead and start printing and it's going to automatically have you search for the device and download the necessary drivers. Test page in normal printing on just plain paper. I printed off this ad for a Mustang on eBay. Colors look pretty good. I don't see any smearing. Now, setting up this Epson was a lot easier than setting up some of the HPs I've done in the past. So far, this seems like it's going to be a good printer. I'm going to use it for a couple weeks and then do a final review and conclusion on it. I'll put a link on how to get this through Amazon and in the description below. Hope you guys found this video helpful and informational, and I thank you for watching.